going on guys welcome back to another video currently in my little room in Ellie Beach so I'm currently staying in a cabin by myself my family is off at a caravan park so I'm in a different caravan park actually um, that we stayed at when we first moved here so when we very first moved here for only a little bit of time not many of you guys would know that but we moved down to Ellie Beach ended up turning back to our original hometown where we are now about six months after just because that's where I've always been it was a little bit different coming here my little sister was just born dad had to work away etc so a lot of things tied us to going back home but we're here now for a little bit of a holiday as you guys do know if you guys did watch the video if you didn't make sure you go check that out link will be in the description currently sitting here eating a bowl of oats as usual this is the first bowl of oats i've had in like a week so you know i've been craving these but we're getting some good fuel in because we have our first crossfit session tomorrow which is super exciting i'm actually kind of nervous about it because it is a 5 a.m to 6 a.m session the person i've spoken to it seems very very nice i've not i've got nothing to worry about i'm also just worried about how i'm going to perform because i haven't really practiced the crossfit movements for a long time but i guess i just got to go in there and give it my best and see how we go so hopefully i'll be able to get some footage of that i'm going to try to base this video around and then hopefully i'm going to be able to go to the old mma gym that i used to train at and uh, get a boxing session in and catch up with the guys there but i'm going to give you guys an update of what we're doing very early tomorrow morning so we'll be up at like 4 4 30 a.m so got an early morning start get this fuel in it's currently watching the buttery bros just to really get myself in that crossfit vibe but yes other than that i'll see you guys in the morning
All right, guys, and the very first CrossFit session ever is done. And that was absolutely awesome. The way that was structured, that was perfect for my very first time. Very happy with how that went. The whole team there, everyone was so encouraging. Absolutely awesome environment. You can just tell as soon as you walk in there, you feel really welcome. So that was awesome to be around. And the way that session was structured was perfect uh, since that's very similar to the way I trained. The rep scans were definitely higher, but I did the whole thing unbroken. The rounds were 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, and 3. And what it was was box jumps, deadlifts, and, and then jerk press. I'm pretty sure it was called. I had the lightest weight out of everyone, but that was just because the doctor there really wanted me to focus on my technique uh, with those jerks. So that was really good. That's perfectly the weight that I needed anyway, because my shoulders already feel like they're blowing up. Got it done. I'm pretty sure my time was 9.01, so I'm very happy with that. I'm going to go pick up my mother because she needs to go for a morning run. I might actually join her with that, uh, see what she's doing. So we might be going for a run also, and then we'll see what we do later on in the day. First CrossFit session ticked off the list. That was absolutely awesome. If you guys want to check out the Instagram, the link will be in the bio, and I'll put it on the screen now. Get on with the rest of the day. So I've decided I'm just going to go for a little run now, run down to the main street and back. Uh, so it should be a good little run. So let's do it. If you guys ever wanted to know, the very first time I ever probably started running was on this little bridge right here. I remember doing my very first 10K ever. And this was the route that I used to take. Cutting it a little bit short today. We're only doing about 3Ks. But this, yeah, this is where it all started. The Been a little bit more than three k's, but it's just such a good run. I just didn't want to stop. I just wrapped up the run. We ended up running 6.12 k's, so a little bit more than three k's, but it was honestly just such a good run. I was feeling good. I reckon because it's warm weather, just all my joints are feeling a lot better than they would back home. Runs are actually feeling really good. The time's just picking up, and I'm not even trying to push it at all, but just feeling good. Legs are feeling loose. All right, time to go chill out, see what we get up for two for the day, and I'll catch you guys a bit later on. What we do here is go back, 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 back. we had to pick up the Zambies since we don't have Zambies back home it is like a staple when I come here I'm thinking about doing a cheat day this Saturday coming up and just trying out all the amazing places here not going too overboard with it but just trying about every single thing that I want to try here in town so if you guys want to see that make sure you let me know all right guys on to the boxing gym now it is currently 4:30. First class starts at five, which is a conditioning class, which seems a bit insane since I did the CrossFit session this morning, but oh well. So we'll do that and then get into the boxing session. So hopefully I'll be able to get a ton of footage for you guys. See how we go.
finished up a boxing session at WMA with Sunday's Martial Arts. Good to be back there. So that's where I used to train when I lived down here just for a little while. The one thing I was looking forward to but absolutely dreading was that conditioning at the start. That's what really got me into the conditioning side of things and really focusing and dialing on it. That basically switched up everything for me, like nutrition wise, just so my body would recover properly, um, was those conditioning sessions. Cause I remember after my first one, I was absolutely wrecked and couldn't walk for nearly a whole week. So make sure that's never gonna happen again, but that was a really good conditioning session. The way they set their boxing sessions up are really cool as well. Really focusing on the technique side of things. So now it is time to go home, fuel up. All right, sorry for the change of quality. GoPro just died on me, I've been using it all day. But as I was saying, I'm gonna go home now, fuel up, and uh, get ready for another big day tomorrow. So we'll see what we got on the agenda tomorrow. But I'm gonna end this video off here. Just a full day of training while on holidays. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe and support the journey. And I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.